Hello, 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 and welcome to PHP 7 If Else Statements. So you got decisions to make. What are you going to do with this data that's coming in, right? Well, we're going to show you how to do that on this tutorial. Lesson. Okay, guys, let's dive right into it. Let's come down here and get our champ server fired up and you can see mine's going it's on the green I'm going to hit go to the application and I'm going to load up my website and this is the website we're working on if you guys need these files go to the link in the description of this video and download the files yours free courtesy of a1websitepro.com okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fire up our Dreamweaver and what I'm going to do is go over all of this stuff with you one at a time so uh, if you go to files uh, bring up your do file and uh, just create a statements.php so you double click here click view go up here click file save as and you want to type in statements.php like that now I already have my statements Dot PHP up here and ready for you guys so let's dive right in so <clears throat> I was trying to think of a good example or an illustration to t to show you guys and what I was thinking of is money and relationships okay it's something that we all we have to deal with every day so let's say that somebody asks you for a hundred dollars what are you gonna tell them well now the if statement comes into play okay so if I'm gonna set this up for you here do you have a hundred dollars consider the situation reason it out by asking yourself an if question if you have a hundred dollars so <clears throat> plan your answers as if you have twenty five dollars okay so let's calculate the cash in the wallet we set a variable of my cash and we found out we had $25 in our pocket. So that $25, the my cash is holding that $25. So we're going to go through the logic here. If, open parentheses, my cash, remember this from the other le lesson, a couple lessons ago? That's an operator. Okay? So we're, it's the less than sign. So if my cash is less than $100, Close that parenthesis. Start with your curly brackets. Then you want to type echo, quote, no, I don't have $100 in paragraph tags, and then end the quote. And then, of course, you have to put in your closing curly brackets. So let's go file save. Let's bring up our browser, and we'll type in up here statements.php. No, I do not have $100. Okay, so that's probably typically what you'd tell somebody even if you did have $100, but that takes us to our next scenario. Let's get rid of this here. And uh, the else statement. Okay, so this, this sets up a statement uh, to the answer, do you have $100, but it's your girlfriend asking for the money with her lovey-dovey eyes. Do you have $100? But you don't want to give her all your cash, right? So what do you tell her? Well, let's say that you do have $100. So we're going to set my cash, the my cash variable, we're going to set it to 100. Okay? And terminate that. Now if, parentheses, my cash is less than a hundred dollars. Close that parenthesis, open the curly brackets, and then you want to echo out in paragraph tags, no, I don't have a hundred dollars. Okay. Now this is your girlfriend asking, so you have to say else. See this this extends the if statement. This is looking for the false thing. So if something is true in here, you know then it's going to give here. But if it's not true, it's going to go to the else statement. And then we're going to open up another curly brackets, set of curly brackets, and then we're going to echo out with quotes and parentheses, 
I have $20 here, baby. It's all yours. I have $20. Here, baby, it's all yours. Okay, so we hit Command S. We save that. We go to the browser. We refresh. I have $20. Here, baby, it's all yours. Okay? So examine that logic again. You know, you have $100 stored in the my cash variable. We're using this less than sign. So if my cash is less than 100, I'm going to echo I don't have $100. So we could actually do this, but I'll give you what I have because it's, it's your girlfriend asking, right? So let's take your cash down up here to $50. Hit Command S, fire it up in the browser, refresh. No, I don't have $100, but I'll give you what I have. Okay? Well, she has 50 Now, if we wanted to echo out the $50, no, I don't have $100, but I have $50. I have dollar sign my cash. But I have $50. I have $50. Command S. Refresh in the browser. I don't have $100. I have $50. Okay, so no matter what this variable, if you had $25 in your wallet, hit Command S. This is just going to change for you. No, I don't have $100. $100. I have $25. Okay, so let that sink in how that's working. If, and then you put your statement, you're looking to see if something matches here. If it, if it matches, we're going to echo something. So, you actually don't have to have this less than sign, but you're usually going to have this. Like a lot, a lot of the other tutorials, they'll put, uh, you know, if my cash or whatever, or if something is something equal to, you know, less than, greater than. Get used to doing it like this, because you're always going to have to have that operator there. Okay? Okay, let's go on to another scenario. Let's say that your girlfriend asks you for $100. Right? You don't want to give her your money, but if your grandma asks you for $100, you'll probably give her the 100 bucks, right? So that's what this else if is all about here. Okay? So, it depends on who's asking. So, here in my wallet, in my cash, I have $100. We're going to set another variable of who. Okay, who's asking? In this particular instance, it's grandma asking. Okay? So, if, right here, in parentheses, my cash is less than $100, in the parentheses, in the curly brackets, echo, and paragraph tags, no, I don't have $100, okay? But now let's say you do have $100, because you do, okay? So, else if my cash is less than $100, and it shouldn't be less than, right? If my cash is equal to $100, or if my cash is greater than a hundred dollars, right? If my cash is greater than a hundred dollars, and who grandma's asking me for it, I'm going to echo out. Here's my hundred dollars, Grammy. Okay. Now, else if my cash is greater than a hundred dollars and who's asking oh it's my girlfriend asking well you don't want to give her all your money so you're going to say here's 20 bucks baby it's all yours okay else we're just going to echo out get a job okay kind of like we did last time so let's hit save go back to our browser refresh we have 
get a job. Okay? Why do we have get a job? My cash. Oh, it's asking if it's a greater than $100. So it's actually equal to. So let's go, uh, let's say $101 up here. Okay? So let's me save. Let's save that. Go to refresh. Here's $101, Grammy. Okay? Because she's asking you for $100. You could give her 101 Give her everything in that wallet. Okay, but now, let's say it's the girlfriend asking. Okay? So let's put the girlfriend in up here. Here's the situation. This is the situation room up here. This is the situation. Okay? This is what we do with that situation from here down. Okay? So now the girlfriend's asking, what's going to happen? Well, the script is going to go through here. See, even if his cash is less than $100, he does not even have $100. Else, if the cash is greater than $100, and Grandma's asking, here's my cash, Grammy. Else, if my cash is greater than $100, and my girlfriend's asking, here's 20 bucks, baby, it's all yours. So now we have the girlfriend asking. Command S, refresh, here's $20, baby, it's all yours. Okay? And we can put that in P tags. She is your girlfriend. All right, there we go. Now let's save, refresh. Here's twenty dollars, baby. It's all yours. Okay, but yeah, yeah. That's how you go through the logic. Okay. Now these else if statements. I could put another one here. Make a condition. I could, it could go on for a long time. That's why we have switch statements. And that's what we're going to be learning about in the next lesson. You learn the if and else statements in PHP 7. The next lesson, we're going to be talking about the switch statements. And I look forward to seeing you guys there. If you like these videos, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.